Hello everyone, so today I'll be making a video about updates on pretty much everything I've been doing so far for a while. I've been dabbling in foam sculpture, which basically I got a two inch thick, two foot by four foot piece of pink insulation foam at an art store here at Savannah, and I cut it up into pieces and stacked a bunch of pieces together and made a statue out of it. <clears throat> but before I did that, I took one of the scrap pieces of foam and carved a horse because horses are cool. Yeah. And I painted it brown because it looks a bit more like wood now, like a wood carving rather than a foam carving. But what still looks entirely like it's made of foam is this, which is a statue that I made by stacking up a bunch of pieces of foam and carving them out. So they're just nine inch by nine inch squares stacked on top of each other and I carved them all out, and I didn't do much detailing on the face, but I carved, like, he's basically just wearing a robe, and it's got a hood, and folds all over the place. And so that's one thing I've been doing. Another thing is, I was helping a friend integrate a Hornet tank into an SSPB, I think that's what it is, I think. And he was having lots of problems with leaks, and it still kind of is having problems with leaks, even though I gooped the fuck out of it. I mean, I put so much goop on here, it's ridiculous. I've used, like, maybe a third of a tube, and it's just... It still kind of leaks. But it's got much less of a leak problem than it used to have. So I'll hopefully be giving that back to him soon. Another thing that I've been doing is... Very exciting, because... <clears throat> essentially, I've been trying to make bows, which are very fun to use. And this is the first bow that I made. This is for my roommate for HVZ. It's based off of the design that, um, it's pretty much entirely based off the design by Nam. Um, it's got a one and a quarter inch plunger tube, basically a regular snap plunger, except it doesn't have the ramp for the nail to catch on. And it's got an RSCB for streamlines. It's 18 inches long, it holds seven streamlines, and a 12 inch CPVC barrel, and it works beautifully. Um, three-quarter inch CPVC arms with half-inch CPVC inside, and a signature that I devised, which is basically taking a three-ring Mobius ball and sticking it in some epoxy putty on the ends. And it works marvelously. I mean, I don't have any darts in this one, but I do have some darts in the second one that I built, which is going to be for me for HBZ, which is this. I still have to install the uh, half-inch CPVC T on the end, but Basically, because of that, I have to draw it by the string alone, which is very uncomfortable because it's a 16-gauge galvanized steel wire that I just had, because I have wire of all sorts, and I have to draw it with a glove on, because otherwise it's very uncomfortable. And with regular streamlines, it works beautifully. It's got the same kind of RSCB clip on it. And with modified streamlines, in which I slid open the tip, put two 18-gauge quarter-inch interior diameter rings in, and then glue them up, I can get marvelous ranges with incredibly straight trajectories with these. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And whenever I get that T put on there, it'll be even more comfortable to use, and... Oh, I should have mentioned... The bow arms on both of these are four feet long, basically this is four feet of CPVC, but with this the bowstring is a lot shorter, so it gets a bit more powerful than that. I'll be putting a shorter string on that one too to increase the power. Oh, and I put a cool little uh, removable flash hider looking orange tip on this, because it's cool like that. And I think that is pretty much it. Have a great day, everyone.